Okay, today I'm going to be doing a video on power consumption. I'm pretty excited about getting this video done, and it's not necessarily this video, but I've got the new circuit installed in my computer room, so I'm now able to run my computer at full overclock settings without tripping a breaker, and it required me, well actually I was thinking a 20 amp breaker was going to be enough, but come to find out that it was not enough and I told the electrician to install me two 20 amp breaker circuits in the computer room and good thing I did and you'll see why. What you're looking at here is uh, I've bought two watt meters and each of them are hooked up to one of the power supplies that I have in the computer. Of course I have two in there and uh, this is at idle right now. I'm at overclock settings uh, 4.25 gigahertz on the CPUs and I am at uh, 875 on the GTX 480s, all four of them, and uh, 2000 on the memory. Now, let me show you what I got here. This one right here, it's showing 143 watts. This is, remember, this is at idle. This, that power supply right here is lined up to three GTX 480s only, nothing else. No hard drives, nothing, no fans. Three GTX 480s right here. This uh, power supply is hooked up to two, two of the X5680 CPUs at 4.25 gigahertz and the fourth GTX 480. Plus all the hard drive, the fans, my Cool Ants water cooler. So this is the balance of everything. And all this is is just three GTX 480s. And this is at idle, so you can see the one on the right is uh, pulling a lot more than the one on the left. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to actually be able to run Furmark, so I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, it wouldn't run but for a couple seconds with my old breaker. Okay, here we are in crisis. And as you can see by the power meter, it's not as much as uh, what we think Furmark's going to be. Now these are at overclock settings of 875. It looks to me to be about 625 watts on the three GTX 480s and uh, almost 900 watts on the single GTX 480 with the, uh, the two CPUs. And you can see I'm getting about 70 frames per second in crisis. There's 80, 85. Okay, now we're in my old favorite game, Metro 2033, and if you look at the power usage, it's actually a little more than a crisis, so I mean that tells me my computer's working more than what's in crisis. I know everyone considers crisis to be uh, the de facto uh, graphics card game, but this shows you Metro 23, it's either badly optimized or it's really intensive, and I, I, I think it's really intensive. So again, this is overclock settings on Metro 2033. Okay, now we're in Left 4 Dead 2, which you'd almost think it wouldn't be the most intensive game, but as you can tell by the power draw, it is. Now these are overclocked settings, which is saying for power draw. Okay, so now let's look at a CPU intensive application like Cinebench 11.5. Uh, this time, instead of the uh, left uh, watt meter being real high and the right one being really high as well, the, the right one that's just for the CPU should be the only one that uh, increases. So let's try this out. So there you go. The left one stays pretty much at idle. 150 or so, and the right watt meter is showing almost 800, 
where both CPUs are going 100% right now. And after it finishes, the right one comes back down. So this is making sense. Okay, now we're looking at Heaven Benchmark. These are overclock settings, 875 and 2000. So it's, it's pretty intensive as well, but yeah, it's, a, it's probably a little bit more intensive than Crisis or Metro 2033. Okay, I'm running at a 2560 by 1600, and look at the power usage. Three GTX 480s is pulling 1200 watts. I just, I can't hardly believe it. The two CPUs, one GTX 480, and the balance of the computer is pulling a little over a thousand watts. I've been seeing the uh, SR2 power supply that EVGA is going to make, and I actually saw a build where they had four GTX 480s. Judging from this right here, I cannot understand how a single power supply can push all the stuff that they have in that computer case. I mean, I, I, I don't think it's possible. If you look at the numbers here, even if my power supplies, but my Mushkin 1200 watts, even if they are not very efficient, this is still going to be well over the amount of uh, power that a single 1200 watt power supply could put out. And I've seen it on the web where they have it built and it's running. I just I can't believe it. So this is Furmark. I've been running for a little over a minute, and I haven't tripped a breaker, so that's good. This one's actually crawling up, so my 1200 watt power supply, depending on the efficiency of it, is putting out all it can do. So what have we learned today? Well, first of all, we've learned that GTX 480s combined with the SR2 motherboard is a massive power hog. Uh, I think I was just lucky that I had two 20 amp breakers uh, installed instead of just one. I did that just for future use and it turns out I, I needed it. Something else we may have learned is that EVGA SR2 power supply. I, I just can't imagine that a single power supply can push the setup that they show on the internet. And if it can, I'm fine with that. I just want to see the proof. So if you know anyone that works at EVGA, I'm, I'll probably send them an email too with a link. I'd like to see it. And if they want to send me the power supply, and I'll hook it up, and we'll test it out and see if it pushes what I've discovered here today, that's great as well. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you.